Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and thank you for watching me today and watching my channel. Please be sure to subscribe below so that you can see a video every single day. Um, my video, my channel will help you build your business, learn the skills that you need to be able to build that business that you've been wanting to build. And we're going to talk about something a little bit more fun today i was doing a little bit of research um, i was starting i was designing something and i started asking myself what do different colors emit and um coming from the education field um we had a whole class on that like what kind of bulletin boards to make and uh what what emotions will different colors uh, emit and well it's the same thing in marketing colors do psychologically emit different feelings when we see them the problem is you don't want to pick one and always want to generate that same feeling because all of your marketing at different times you're going to want your customer to do something different you're not always going to want that power sale and that's why red even though it's the number one color that most marketers use it basically does emit that feeling um it gets their attention and it gives them a sense of urgency yes that's a great thing to do but you don't want to overuse it use it on those times when you're really trying to get their attention otherwise they'll probably start just tuning you out since you always have the same thing blue is a really good color to use if you're trying to emit that feeling of that you're trustworthy and cool people think of that when they see that color that this person must really be twist, trustworthy and it really goes well when it's with its complementary color and we're going to talk about that in a minute right now let's look at one color at a time pink is a color that is usually used with the young female demographics you can think of young girls who are fun and bubbly and they'll have pink all over their their website and they they wear it well because it it kind of goes with their personality and you can see that it wouldn't always look too good on you know maybe um, an older guy or something you know you want you want your color to show who you are as well so pink is fun usually for those young flirty um females they, they can get away with that yellow is is very powerful it's it's it, it's um pretty much commands your audience's attention and it lets them know that you're very confident in your abilities so use that one with caution especially if you're trying to be fun and flirty you don't want to be using yellow you want to go to the pink um, but you can always change your personality in one of your youtubes and go with the yellow green is probably what I would think is a really good one to use because it's warm and it's inviting and think about it what do you think about right away trees and being outside and nature and it gives you that feeling of health the environment goodwill and since you're in business right away most of us think of green as money so it's tied to wealth as well so that's a really good color to use in your business we're going to go with purple now usually when people um, if you notice that there's different influencers on YouTube that use a lot of purple and gold and we're going to talk about those two colors next purple basically means royalty and it's perfect for lending that touch of elegance and prestige in your marketing materials so pay attention when you're watching YouTube videos that people are pushing out that purple color and then they complement it with gold and it really adds an element of power when that purple and gold are used together gold by itself you think of elegance and prestigious but then match it together and you think of power and it really symbolizes wealth and pedigree let's look at orange orange i i've noticed people that have used this and it's funny because it it has power it's very powerful and it's very attention getting it's fun it's cool and it makes customers feel like they're dealing with a cutting edge company um if you look at the uh, purple a lot of times it's complemented with a gray or a black and it really does pop out and i know a couple influencers that use it and it really does complement their personality as well brown let's go back to the earth it's earthy and it's got those earthy tones and it just gives you that laid back comfortable feeling and it really helps people to relax so maybe if you're talking about something that is you know more down to earth you want to you want to bring that brown color in with all those natural tones and black of course is another very highly versatile color i saved it down here in the color and down in the corner because you almost could comp well you could complement every one of those colors with black black 
is basically used to contrast the other colors and it makes things pop and that's what you want to do whenever you're making a video thumbnail or something in an ad now you heard me talking about complementary colors and what is that you remember this from school in your art class remember you had the color wheel and the teacher said to always um, if you want to complement a color use the one that's across from it on the color wheel i think you remember learning that in elementary school but let's take red and green as an example red gives you that sense of urgency and i've got to have it and then you go over to green and it's a total opposite it's that very relaxing nature you know let's chill and if you notice that different colors will do that they complement each other in the color wheel so like i told you what we learned in the education field when we were making built bulletin boards back then we didn't have social media i'm giving away my age which i think it's already been given away but we would make sure that when we were making the bulletin boards we always made sure we complemented those colors so think about that when you're making posts and you want to be colorful always use something that complements it um, there are certain colors if you put them together it really just takes away from the whole effect of what you're trying to get across i hope this was helpful um, it's fun do some more research to google it and and look up complementary colors and colors in marketing um, that attracts customers and or the psychology of customers and you can get a lot more information make sure before you go you subscribe to my link and like my video if it was helpful don't like it if it wasn't obviously but we'll see you on the next video and we'll have some more fun